Welcome to our Guinness World Records attempt for the world's biggest ever maths and science lesson. This is a very special lesson because thousands of classes around the world are sharing this same lesson today. DNA is what makes you a very special human being, different from every other living thing. You have identical copies of the same DNA in every cell in your body and your DNA is different from any other DNA. DNA carries the message which made you grow from a single cell into the person you are now. For the whole of your life, DNA controls how your body works and grows and changes. In this lesson, we find out what DNA is, how it carries the messages that control all living things and how it copies itself. DNA is like a twisted ladder. Each step of the ladder is made up of two bases. There are only four types of base, A, T, C and G. Base A always pairs with T and C always pairs with G. The DNA genetic code is a sequence of the letters A, T, C and G in different orders with many repetitions. For example, a, T, G, A, C, C, A, A, C, A, A, G, T, G, T, C, T, C, C, and on, and on, and on, and our entire DNA sequence is called a genome. The human genome in your DNA gives the biological instructions needed to make you. The human genome has about three thousand million base pairs. If all the DNA in your body were connected, it would stretch over 1,200 million kilometers. That's 1,500 return trips to the moon or four return trips to the sun. And all this DNA fits inside you. The nucleus in each cell in the human body contains two meters of DNA. The cell is very small, and as there is so much DNA, it must be tightly packed into the packages that are called chromosomes. Our DNA determines all our characteristics. For example, our sex, the color of our skin, hair and eyes, our weight, if we have freckles or not, if we can roll our tongues, if we're likely to get certain diseases, etc. A distinct sequence of the letters that determine one characteristic is called a gene. Humans have about 20,000 genes on 46 chromosomes, 23 inherited from each parent. In 1953, Francis Crick and James Watson discovered the double helix structure of DNA. Rosalind Franklin's X-ray studies of DNA gave them the clue to this structure. Rosalind Franklin died in 1958. She was not awarded the Nobel Prize that went to the other three scientists in 1962. The study of the human genome is crucially important to modern medicine in understanding disease and in finding new treatments. A rough draft of the human genome was completed in the year 2000. The final map of the human genome was completed by many scientists and mathematicians in 2003 and you can see it in London at the Wellcome Centre. Our bodies have many different types of cells that differ because some genes are switched on and some are switched off in each cell. Some genes are only switched on during development of a baby. After birth, their job has been completed and they're switched off. All living things have DNA. Parts of the DNA of any two different species may be the same, but other parts will be different. Here are some examples of small parts of the DNA of different species. DNA is made of chemical building blocks called nucleotides. 
to form a strand of DNA, nucleotides are linked into chains. We will be using balloons to make nucleotides and chains, like the one Leon is making. And how old is Leon? You're going to struggle to I am seven! Well, hey! For the Guinness World Record, some schools will be using the balloon nucleotides to create chains of nucleotides and make DNA ladders. Pairs of nucleotides link together to form DNA. As cells divide, DNA divides to form two exact copies of itself so that each new cell has a copy of the DNA. The nucleotides in the DNA separate and new nucleotides that are floating in the nucleus of the cell join onto the two parts to make two exact copies of the DNA. As the DNA splits lengthwise, the nucleus itself splits into two, replacing the original cell by two new cells that are exact copies of the original cell. There are many ways to make DNA models. Now it is your turn to make your own. Have fun! Join us in our Guinness World Records attempt for the world's largest balloon modeling lesson and create a balloon DNA strand just like Leon and Oliver did.